Good morning, YouTube fans, Facebook clan. Here we are in Vincenzo's garden. This is his picnic table farming area. And I just wanted to give a little bit of an update here. I'll give you a broad shot at what we have going on in our three picnic tables. But I wanted to expound a little bit on why this is the most efficient form of gardening that I have been able to come up with. And I grow in traditional gardens, raised bed gardens, container growing, and picnic table farming. And I have a pretty expansive area here. Grape arbors, I have the hummingbird feeders. You can see the baskets there. They all have flowers in them. And the one good thing is that the bunnies don't pole vault. So in this little one table right here, I have a 12 o'clock sun that's directly up above us. We have several growing quadrants and lanes that uh, accommodate our container growing. And so in just this one spot right here, this is an eight foot picnic table that I picked up at Lowe's. We have 14 peppers. These are the, uh, I have Marconi's, red Marconi's and mixed colored bell. And on top of that, on each one of the growing lanes, I have 5, 10, 15. I probably have 20 tomato plants that flank the sides here. And then on the top of the table, right down the center lane, we have some perennial flowers in there. They're mixed. They're starting to bloom a little bit, which is good. And on the four corners, I also have some petunias, my second favorite summer flower. My first being the impatience because they just bloom all summer long. So what we have here is we have six cabbages, early cabbages, globes, and we have two zucchinis just on the top of the table. So in this little space, this eight foot by eight foot space, we have 16 peppers, probably 25 tomato plants, six cabbages, uh, four zucchinis, a center lane of pollinator uh, attracting flowers, and a couple of uh, azalea bushes just in this little space right here. Now you would be very hard pressed to accommodate that in an eight foot by eight foot garden space traditional. You'd be hard to accommodate that even just with container growing, which is kind of a modification of the square foot gardening uh, method that I learned many, many years ago. So I just wanted to point that out. I have a book on Amazon called Picnic Table Farming, an idea whose time has finally arrived. It's available in both hard copy and Kindle format. And with the advent of what has happened here in 2020, and what you can see happening in 2021 with the spike in food prices, gas prices, tax prices, and every other prices. Uh, it's a good way to alleviate some of that food insecurity. I have mine set up as a permanent growing station. You can see this thing goes on and on. It's amazing uh, to me what I'm able to grow in this small space. Now my middle table, I have my perennial herbs and flowers and tomatoes and peppers and that type of thing. I'll grow my lettuces and some radishes and some red beets and some other things. I also have some, I'll walk down here a little bit. This will be a little bit longer of a video, I guess. I'll give you a flank shot <laughs> at the picnic table for me. I'll have to take some rooftop pictures. You can just see that this goes on and on and on. And we have some chives there. I love uh, dried chives. I throw them in everything. I've got some oregano there, some more chives. And over here we have a duplicate of the other eight foot table. And you can see also that there is nothing but a vegetable food forest here. That's what I have, a food forest. This is just one of the many gardens that I have here keeps me busy, very busy as a matter of fact. And we'll have these planted out here. It's, I haven't planted my seeds yet because it's been a little bit too uh, cold in the mornings for 
things to really germinate, but now that the weather has shift, shifted, I've decided to, uh, I'll get into planting those. And here is my example of the, the permanent putting of the uh, tomato cages right through the bottom of the pots to hold them in place. So there's a pretty broad view there of what's going on right here. And there's my other container grow growing down here also as well, but that's for a separate video. All right, remember to be kind to one another out there. Help your neighbor if you can. Happy harvesting. See ya.